this is a interesting sort of combo video. It's a thank you guys for 30,000 views video. So if you've interacted with my content or just watch it or whatnot, I just wanted to say thank you. And I've been holding off on unboxing the Santa Lane kit thus far until I hit some milestone or it got too close to Christmas. So I just wanted to unbox that as sort of a celebration thing for all of us. And I'm going to use the pattern paper in that as the basis for another series of the Kendra's Card Challenge 8. So we are going to, once we unbox all this stuff and take a look at what we got, and a few extras, we're then going to look through the pattern paper pad and decide which six patterns we want to use. Um, so leading off, this is not in the kit, but it's sort of an augment. Sorry, I'm sure the glare is annoying, but it is mirror green and mirror red cardstock uh, that Spellbinders has that coordinates really well with pretty much all their Christmas kits. If you've seen the mirror gold or silver that come in the card kits pretty frequently, um, this is very similar to that. This is not a subscription card kit. It's the every year in August, basically, they release a holiday themed kit. And we might have a special visitor. Our cat associate is currently walking on the desk. Anyway, so let's take a look at what's in here. I can't remember if I bought any of their, the extras. These kits, uh, especially... Well, let's move up. Oh, move you on the ground, my dear. There we go. Uh, so these kits come with a bunch of additional optional things. Um, the mirror green and red really isn't one of those. But if we dig into this and wind up seeing more stuff than we think we'd normally get, uh, I will try and call out if these are included or not. Because you you've probably seen a bunch of other unboxings of this by now. So this is basically twice the size of a normal card kit. Oops. Oh, well. So in addition to your... Normal card, your standard A2 bases, of which I believe you get 13 or 15, and then you get a similar number of 5x7s if you're more of a fan of a larger card. I don't do large cards generally, so that, that'll be kind of neat for me. Um, get sort of twice as many foam squares as usual, and more, more tape. Uh, their tape is pretty good, so um, that is that. Let me grab the info sheet so you can sort of, if I have one, I don't actually see one. Okay, uh, so the dies included here make Santa and a sled. I think there is an info card that shows it all together. Hopefully we will run across that. Then we have two packs of ephemera. This one is basically all sentiments, and this one is a lot of sort of focal point pieces. I'm planning to use these both probably in the card challenge because there's a lot of cases where you need extra stuff. And then the, I think last year's All Aboard kit also came with these, but they come with uh, these sort of more faceted jewel kind of embellishments. Here is the... Pattern paper, we will look at that last. Uh, get a nice stamp set with some pretty straight, pretty nice embellishments. Warmest wishes, season's greetings, Merry Christmas, lots of that kind of stuff. Um, don't have a ton to say about that, I guess. Then these are the chipboard stickers, similar to what we've seen in the monthly kits. Um, you have a lot of Santa... If you notice, this Santa is a lot more traditional looking than um, the Santas that we've seen in the Oh What Fun and the Joyful Christmas, which is more, um, I don't know, whimsical, I guess. Have some gold sequins, which, again, never really have too much embellishments at Christmas. Oh, here's the info sheet. Okay, so you can see that those dies go together to make Santa and his sleigh or sled i guess it's not really it's more of a sled because you can pull it and you can make multiple of them of course 
and then on the back it goes through all, all the pieces. As you notice, these are pretty intricate, so like there's a lot of paper piecing generally in this particular holiday kit, as opposed to like some of the monthly kits will get dies that are more like you know one and done, like the tree from Joyful Christmas. So we have some scripty sentiments, which is cool. These are fairly matte. Um, I think we saw something similar to this in Oh What Fun. Uh, just, I guess I should say, the color palette of this kit is very much more traditional Christmas. The Both Joyful Christmas and Oh What Fun are much more sort of muted tones kind of Christmas. Uh, we got a bunch of stars and snowflakes and other things. It's... Other people have said it's more of a, almost a bronzier gold. I would say that as well. It's more of a, it's not matte by any means, but it's more of like, it's more closer to copper. And then some glitter stickers that are just sort of over the top bling. There are two of these front and back, so, and there are a bunch of each letter, but you can pretty much make anything because you have a whole alphabet, and you have some neat little stars and other things, but... Like, this would be really nice if you wanted to put a specific person's name on something. And then, of course, we get a bunch of card stock. 18 sheets, which is a lot. Let me just open this up and show you kind of the color palette, just so you kind of get the idea of what this would be like if you picked one of these up. Because we're basically in the middle of the Christmas season, uh, these kits do go on sale. So if you're looking for next year, you know, now is a great time to buy because they're half price. So one silver, two gold of the mirror card stock. We have a pale green, a pale blue, more of a dark blue. I really like it. this. That's a really nice color. Uh, dark green, again, very classic. Like, these are these are sort of your classic green, Christmas green and reds. I want to say this is, I mean, I, I think this is forest, this is phone booth, and then this sort of muted red, it, it's not maroon, but it's something like that. Uh, has an orange, I guess for carrot noses and the like. Pink, actually two pinks. A really pale pink, and then like a slightly mid-tone, a medium pink. There's, a, and then they also have like a doll pink, like like a really hot pink. This I think is really good if you're going for a Caucasian Santa and need sort of a flesh tone for the face, and don't want to use white. Uh, which we also have a couple white sheets of white. We have a black, which and a brown. Both black and brown, you kind of need to do the Santa because there's some as accents that are black and brown so I am really liking that color palette it will definitely be a change of pace from what we've been looking at in the rest of our Christmas cards but let's unbox and take a peek at this pad and see if we can't determine what patterns we want to use so as you may recall from the last time we looked at Kendra's card challenge, you need six sheets of 6x6 six six pattern paper, and two of them can be directional, four of them do not need to be directional. Uh, so we have florals. This is good option. Don't know if I'll do it. Ooh, stripes. Stripes would be pretty good. These actually have some foiling. They're, they're nice, and they're basically the whole color palette. These trees I like quite a bit, I think. And then we get into some nice plaid. Your buffalo check. Ooh, I like this one a lot. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna pull one of these because I definitely want to use this. And it's non-directional. I also really like the tree. I'm gonna pull those because those I really respond to. I think I'll use the plaid as well. Now we have another plaid. This one is more of a brown plaid. Oh, I think that's the one we looked at before. Then we have some Christmas words. I like this. I may, I don't think I'll use it though. Uh, this is really nice either if you're doing, other people have said this works great on the, if you're doing a full six by six card and basically want to have, you know, a card ready to go just without having to do anything. 
These are nice. Some nice polka dots. That might be a nice one. Uh, some more pine. These notes which I think you'd probably want to use directionally. I like the notes a lot. Uh, this guy, we're definitely gonna grab another metallic one because I don't know, I feel like Christmas is for that. Uh, this polka dot pattern I think will be good because it's not, I don't know, we we may, if, we do, if everything else is green, I may just stick with a green color palette. Uh, some nice plaids here too. This one I especially like, this house pattern. So, I'm going to grab this guy. Because maybe we could just do mostly a green color, green and metallic as sort of the color palette. We do need one more something. Uh, more florals. Oh, and here we go. Perfect. And we have this sort of whitewashed green. And I think that's all we need. Let's see what else we have, if this is the last one. Nope, and then there's sort of a gray, uh, similar to the red one, where there's a very, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? There's a, there is a, um, where did I go with that? Oh, where, where it's similar to the red one, where there's uh, a lot of the uh, word, the, a lot of the Christmas sentiments, basically. Let's see how we feel about this together. I think this is pretty nice. I'm liking this palette a lot. Uh, the thing that's nice too is if you like look at, say, a red, right? Like, let me find the. So if you look at, say, this red, like the red's really going to pop against all the greens, so I think it'll be really nice for focal points as well. So these are our six pieces. I am probably not going to film cutting them up because that gets a little bit tedious, but I will be back with shorts on putting each card together. And uh, also, I'm probably going to sort uh, basically sort all the ephemera so that it's easier to find when we're working on the cards anyway i will give you another playlist of shorts and then i think we'll be back for a final video at the end of this set just so that we can sort of see how it all went and if we had thoughts for next time